Good morning, Facebook. It's Lori Flickinger coming to you live from Lori's Wellness Loft in Uptown Hamilton, New Jersey. And yes, we are still closed to the public. Did you hear that thing on Twitter about that gym owner? Um, I loved it. Anyway, hello, Carrie. How are you? Hold on. Let me flip the camera. Um, all right. So anyway, I don't know about you guys, but just the allergies are hitting me. Donna. Hello. Hello. I have so much to tell everyone. I hope I can get it all in, in a reasonably intelligent fashion today. So what we're going to do, thank you, Carrie, for sharing. You were like on it. Carrie sharing in all my groups for me. Um, I wanted to come on today. We're going to do a free fitness video today and everybody loves F words, right? We're going to make it fun. We're going to make it free and Hey, everyone loves Friday. So I want everybody, we're waiting for people to jump on 10 o'clock is the start time. We're ready to rock and roll. So I want everybody to think about this. Okay. I don't care where you are all starting from. This is a workout that we are going to do today. I don't want anybody to judge themselves, okay? I want the whole motto of today to be kindness. I want you to be kind with your body. I want you to be kind with where you are. And I want you to just be curious about what you can do with us today. If you have not moved since high school gym class, this class is for you. If you are somebody who trains like an animal, this class is for you, okay? So while we're waiting for everybody to jump on, I want to talk to everybody about F words, about the fact that we love F words. And I have been playing pickleball with some lovely ladies this week, and I have realized I use too many F words. How many of you have tried to give up uh, cursing but can't? I don't know, but I just realize I am learning stuff about myself all the time. And I raise your hand. Give me a one if you love to drop an F-bomb here and there or a, a not so nice word. It just, it's so effective. All I got to say, and I don't know if I'm willing to give up cursing, but tell me how all of you feel about cursing. And I used to use the word fuzzy pickle when my kids were little instead of F-bombs, but oh gosh. Something feels really good about dropping a bomb. So what we're doing today, guys, everybody up. We're gonna start warming up. We're waiting for people to jump on. Carrie shared, so they'll all be here shortly. So what I did is I wrote a nice full body workout for today. So start marching in place, everybody. High knees. Now, I want you all to know that we are keeping this all level. I am going to show you modifications. If you have certain injuries or you have certain issues that you cannot work through, holler them out. I'm going to be checking and I'm going to show you all exercises. There are certain moves that I don't even like to do. Guys, even Lori doesn't like to do certain things because of my body and where I am right now, but I'm going to show them all to you and then I might stop moving and come to the camera to answer questions. But I want all of you, if I say 20 lunges, if I say 20 squats, I want you to do them all. Be accountable. Give me some hearts if you're out there. Give me some thumbs if you're out there. Hi, Joni. You are looking good, girl. That's all I got to say. Joni is killing it. She is a part of our weight loss group and she is down, I think, what, three pounds this week, Joni? Killing it. And she's looking good. Guys, quarantine's got nothing on us, right? All right, so let's warm up. For those of you who have issues with your back and your hips, I want you to start with some circles. So we're gonna start here, legs far apart. The key is what people don't understand is when you have lower back issues, you need to open up the hip flexors where the front of the spine. Everybody thinks you have to bend forward. No, no, you have to bend back. So place your hands on your sacrum, push back and feel that opening in your hip flexors. Okay, so you just wanna open this up, come to neutral, one more time, deep breath in, exhale, open it up. This is really good to do too if you're sitting at a desk all day, like a lot of you are. So let's do some circles here all the way around and you may hear clicks and pops what we're trying to do everybody's popping on now i'm seeing everybody hello hello happy fun friday we're keeping it fun share your favorite f word below 
Is it fun? Is it free? Is it Friday? Is it something that I used on the pickleball court yesterday? Listen, I said so many Hail Marys for that. Didn't work. I still love those words. Anyway, other side. Did you see I switched directions? Two more. Last one. Take a break, guys. I think we're getting ready. Betty Jo, how are you? Hi, Diana. How are you? Are you going to join us today or are you just watching? All right, so here we go. I wanted to put on good music, but the last time I did it, they took my uh, video off of YouTube. Can you believe it? We're starting with squats, guys. All right, so people, if you have knee injuries and you think you cannot squat, look at that. If that's not entertaining, I don't know what is. Turn your feet out. Can everybody see my feet? So normally, if this hurts your knees, just turn them out a little bit. This is usually a more forgiving position. Okay, so here's your squat if you have knee issues or you're not going down as deep. You don't have to go super deep, guys. I'm grabbing dumbbells. Everybody grab your dumbbells if you have them. If you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. You don't need them, okay? So here we are. We're gonna squat with a leg lift. So watch me. We're coming down, right leg. All right leg for 10, okay? So we're working on our glutes, our outer thighs, we're keeping our abs in really tight. People are popping on. Hi, hi, happy Friday. Let me know you're here, say hello. If you're watching me live, put a hashtag live in the comments below. If you're watching me on the replay, please put hashtag replay in the comments below. There are going to be some giveaways at the end of this class today. The class is gonna run about, I don't know, I get long-winded. I'm thinking 30 minutes. Other side. At the end, I'm doing giveaways. So stick around, guys. Stick around, don't just watch. Don't put the phone down on the couch and go back to what you were doing. Stick around and do this. How cool would that be if you actually stuck around and did this? Burned some calories, released some endorphins, some feel-good hormones, and like felt better. Started your day off right. Four more. I count terribly. Two. Last one. Take a break. Everybody grab a sip of water if you need to. If you are, hello, Diane. How are you? Hi, Nicole. Are you doing this with us? You better be. You better be. You better be. What is she saying? Awesome. Doing next week. Hopefully I stress. Oh, sorry to hear that, Diana. How the hell did you hurt yourself? Exercise number two. Curtsy lunge. Here we are, dumbbells in hand, okay? They don't have to be super heavy. Watch me, I'm crossing behind and back. Other side, now we're rotating here, okay? First side we did all at once. Everybody can see me? Okay, here we go. Now you're gonna feel this more in your glutes, yeah? As we get older, guys, I hate to tell you, muscles flatten. No, everybody says, you know, the first sign of aging is, you know, you get crow's feet or your lips get thin. No, guess what, guys? First signs of aging, your ass gets flat. Work on your ass, guys. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean everybody else can't. My daughter kills me about my butt. She really does. But she did say it's starting to look better. Quarantine is doing a good job for my butt. Because she says it's starting to lift. I don't know, guys. But guess what? In order to get a different result, what do you have to do, Paul? What do you have to do, Paul? You got to do something different, right? That's what we have to do. Paul, are you doing this with us? Or are you just watching? Three more. I'm overdoing it. Two more. Last one, take a break. Everybody put your dumbbells down. We're gonna do a little cardio break here. So I call this one a log jump. You're imagining you have an invisible log and you're hopping over, hopping over, okay? The better your fitness level, the higher you're gonna go and the lower you're gonna go. So you notice I'm not just high, I'm coming low. Coming up, coming down, okay? And you're actually jumping further. Like I could jump out of the camera if I want to, okay? So we're hopping, hopping. Keep going, I'm saying hello, hello. 
Hello, Denise, how are you? Hi, Liz, how are you? Here we go. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, take a break. All right, from here, we're going up to the wall. Hold on, I might have to change. Okay, is that a wall? Is that me on the wall? Yeah, grab your dumbbells. Everybody, find a wall in their house. Yeah, you got me. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I love a good wall sit. Easiest thing to do, you can't mess it up, guys. You're gonna sit up against a wall and punch. Okay, little punches, or if you wanna go overhead, okay, it's gonna bring your heart rate up even higher. But you wanna do this for at least 20 punches. I was talking to people the other day and they were saying, there's a woman who does planks for, I don't know, it was a ridiculous amount of time. Like an hour? Who the heck, number one? Is it humanly possible to do a plank for an hour? Anyone? Anyone? I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think you can do it. I mean, yeah, we could stand up for an hour, but who's standing on their arms that long? Are we at 20? Four more. Three more. Two more. Take a break. Does everybody's heart rate up? Yeah? All right, here we go. So we're doing a fancy one right now. Hi, Debbie, happy belated birthday, my dear. I saw it was your birthday yesterday. Okay, we're gonna, hold on. That was hitting me in the head. We're gonna do a ski squat. Now this is a little advanced, guys, okay? So what we're doing, I'm gonna show you sideways so you see what I'm doing. We're gonna squat, lift the leg and reach, okay? So let's do it together. Squat, same leg, right leg. Reach. So this takes a little balance. Squat, reach. You with me? Squat. Now, if this is hard, you can hold something, like hold the counter, okay? I like this because it's working on core, glutes, all of your stabilizing muscles, okay? It looks not so challenging, but you are working on all kinds of muscles in the body. Okay? Three more. It's called a ski squat. And you could get completely parallel to the ground if you're super good and not trying to look at a camera. Okay? March it out. We're going the other way. How we doing? How we doing? Where's my girlfriend here? Okay, all right, I'm looking for my peeps. There's a couple peeps that are supposed to be here that are not here yet. I'm worried. Left side, ready? Down, up, balance. Down, up, balance. Okay, are we there? Now, if this is too hard, you can hold something and just, okay, down, hold lift down hold lift let's do three more down up two up last one good job everybody march it out oh we're moving arms here we go little pivot little pivot can you see me we're doing bench dips. Everybody grab a chair, uh, okay? Chair in your house. Here we go, down and up. Oh my God, it's so beautiful outside. I wanna go to the beach. Does anybody feel like taking a ride down the beach with me today? I know, the boardwalk is open. I wanna go. I am not sitting in a house today. So we're here, we're dipping. We're keeping our glutes as close to the chair as possible. You can do this off of any kitchen chair, guys. Go run and get a kitchen chair. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Take a break. Little arm series here. Grab your dumbbells again, guys. Kathy, Kathy, how are you? I wish I could, yeah, I know. 
Well, guess what? We can. I can. <laughs> I can. My daughter's at work. Curl. Keep your legs together. So opposite shoulder. Opposite shoulder. I can take a ride. I might go take a ride by myself. How fun would that be? Just go walk the boardwalk by myself. I am really learning a lot about myself during this quarantine. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting, I'm getting so much freaking clarity. And this is the time, people. When you have all of this time to reflect on you, guess what? You start to learn about yourself. When there's not all this distraction and hubbub, I said it, hubbub. When there's not all this hubbub going on, you can actually like listen to your inner self and say, hey, what really makes me happy? All the way down, horse stance. Upright row, ready? Up, squat down, stand up, row. Lower, and again, guys, anybody who knows me, I'm not sticking with the paper, I just started making up shit. See, drop the bad word. Give me the old tisk tisk in the comments below if you don't like cursing. I'm trying to quit but I find it so effective. How about you guys? Does anybody out there curse? I try not to. But I've also realized all this pickleball playing has made me realize another thing about me. I have zero impulse control. I'm like a maniac. So <laughs> I have to channel my inner maniac on the court because I am definitely um, not refined. Let's put it that way, Lori is not refined. We're not handing Lori any gray coupon anytime soon. Nope, not my strong suit. All right, ready, stay low. One arm at a time. Lateral raise, let's go, let's go. How we doing, guys? I see the numbers popping on here. Can't see who you are, say hello. If you're jumping on late, we're kind of halfway through now, guys. I'm starting to sweat, how about you? Drop me a hashtag sweat in the comments if you're feeling this. I think we're going abs next. Does anybody have any requests that they really want to do today? Hit me with them, because I'm taking requests. Not music, last time I did music requests, they bumped me off of YouTube. Shut up, I didn't know you weren't allowed to put your own music on your videos. Come on. Last set, take a break. Everybody grab a little water. Hi, Nicole, how are you? Hope you're having a great Friday so far. Grab a sip. We're going back to the wall, people. To the wall, follow me. Follow me as I pivot. Where's the wall? Where the heck is it? Oh my God, did I just lose them? Here we go. How did I do that? All right, everybody, find a wall in your house. Down. Now listen, workouts are really, really simple. You people make it very difficult. And I don't mean to call you you people. You can pick three exercises and just keep doing them. Do them for 30 minutes. Run a circuit. You know, do 50, 20 to 50 repetitions of every exercise. Move to the next one. Do a little cardio break. Jog in place for a minute. Do it again. It's simple. I never said personal training was a challenge. The accountability is why you hire a trainer. Not because training is hard. I'm sorry, and I might have people come at me with this one, but I find it's a very easy job to do. Uh, the hard thing is the accountability. Getting the client to come to the mat. Calling them on the court getting them to finish the last rep, right? That's what trainers are for. We hold you guys accountable. All right, any requests? Any requests? All right, we're going to the floor, guys. We're doing some abs. So everybody, grab a mat, grab a towel. We're laying down, people. Here I come, coming in with the mat. All right, so who loves a good plank? Nobody, right? Nobody loves a plank. Nobody loves a plank, but we're gonna do them. So I want everybody to start here. Now, if you have issues with your wrists, we're gonna start down on your forearms, okay? So here we are. Keep your spine even, and you're just gonna breathe here, okay? 
Breathe. Don't let your hips sag. Now I find moving makes it easier. So you could saw this. Four more. Take a break. Sit back, stretch out, child's pose. You all still there guys? Is everybody still with me? High plank. We're going into a push-up position from here. So we're up. If you have bad wrists, stay low. Okay, stay on your forearms. I just like to change the angle, keeping your butt low. I don't want any butts up in the air. Okay. Keep going. Four, three, two, take a break. Now we're going to plank dogs love. Now this I can say I love because I love yoga and this is yoga-esque. So anybody know how to do a down dog? What we're doing is we're staying on our toes. We're pushing to a down dog. Switching to a plank, pushing to a down dog. Okay. Give me 10 to 20 of these guys. I'm admiring my new socks. I bought them at ShopRite. Isn't it funny the things that we want when we can't have them? All I wanted was a new pair of socks. Found them at ShopRite and it was like gold, man. Lori struck gold. So I'm sporting them today and I'm feeling good. Let's do four more. Woo. Three more. Two. Last one. Bring it to your knees. Let's do a couple cat and cows here. How are we doing, everybody? We feeling good? I know you can't respond because you're doing Is that Michelle? Did I just see Michelle pop on? I hope that is because I think it's who it is. Hello, hello, if it's Michelle, hi, welcome, I'm glad you're here. I will post all of these on our pages. Happier, healthier you. And members only weight loss group. I have a members only club, guys. It's only $2 a day for weight loss coaching, workouts, food plans, meditation, weekly coaching, $2 a day. Guess what? These girls are losing weight during quarantine. Want to get in? Message me after the class. Hello, Melissa. It wasn't Michelle. It was Melissa. Hi, Jack. How are you? All right, here we go. We're going onto our backs here. Jack, are you with us? I know Jack's got a tight hip. So we're going to work on loosening up some tight hips. Get on the floor with us, Jack. Don't just watch. We want you on the floor. So that didn't sound good, but I'm sure you're sn I'm sure you're snickering, Jack. I know you are, are a man that's got a good sense of humor. All right, so we're laying on the floor. Everybody see me? Bringing your knees into your chest. All right, so let's massage the lower back into the mat. I don't know if you all saw my video this week about being able to massage your family members. Um, people loved it. I did a little massage technique on Chris and showed all of you how to do simple massage techniques for yourself and your family since everybody's hurting. Listen, we're going to get back to normal soon, guys. I am here for you. I cannot wait to be able to work on every one of you because Lori's ready. These hands are ready. Jack, you still with us? All right, from here, this is the one, the figure four, everybody. If you have tight hips, do this every day. Take the left leg, cross it over the right. Push the left knee away. You feel that? You got to stretch that. So push the left hip, uh, knee away. Hold on to the right thigh. Rock it back. Now you're going to pull the glute side. All right. So this should all open up. I hope I don't have holes in my pants because I've done that before. Not on camera. I don't think. I've done it in a class before where I've blown out my pants and that's always good for a laugh, right? At Lori's expense. All right, let's try the other side. Both heels flat on the floor. Take the right leg, cross it over the left, push the right knee away. So it's the, um, I'm sorry, right leg, cross it, 
push the right knee away. You're gonna feel an opening in that right hip, yes? Y'all with me? Hold the left thigh, rock it back. Feel that hip open. Jack, you with me? I hope you're still here, Jack, because this is all for you. All right, so now that our hips are loose as a goose, Let's do some bridges. So from here, this is one of my favorite home hip and glute exercises. You're holding your hands above, you're bringing it up, bringing it down, okay? If you have dumbbells, you can make it a little harder. Put the dumbbells on your thighs and lift them, okay? You can put some real weight on this. And this really helps to loosen up the entire spine. You'll feel cracks all the way up your spine into your neck, you want to keep your shoulders down, okay? And here we are, all of the weight is in my heels. I don't know if you can see my toes, but I actually picked my toes up off the floor and I am driving through my heels, so that way I'm working on all of the muscles in the back, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower lumbar region, okay? This often gets ignored, because if you can't see it, it must not exist, right? No, no, no. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean the rest of the world can't see it. Work on your glutes. One of the biggest muscle groups in the back of the body from the waist down, glutes, gluteus maximus. Two more. Last one. All right, guys, we're doing some abs here. So we're doing some traditional abs. I'm going old school with you. Hands behind your head, knees are up off the floor, feet are off of the floor, crisscross. So we're twisting and twisting. Everybody with me? So if you have a bad lower back, the leg stays up higher. Okay, so to take the pressure off your lower back, your leg stays high. If you're a superstar, the leg drops down, okay? Another pickleball injury, groin pull. Lori pulled a groin, Jesus, gosh. See again, Lori can't keep her mouth clean. Yeah, I was going for a ball, pulled that groin, and now I'm feeling it. But it's okay, hey, it's something I've never done before, right? So it'll heal. I'll learn not to do it next time. Four more, three more, two more. Take a break. All right, from here, hands under your hips. We're going to do some leg lifts here. Well, I'm sorry, no, I'm gonna change this. We're going to do a scissor kick. So we're gonna drop one leg as we hold the other, okay? So drop, very mindfully, drop. Oh, I feel it on that one side, on the injured side. So the thing is, you don't want to aggravate an injury, right? So when I'm feeling this, when I'm dropping it, I'm not gonna go as low, because I don't wanna hurt it more, and then prevent my ability to go back to pickle on Monday, right? Because I wanna do that. So I'm just gonna go down a little less. Three more. Two more. Everybody feeling this in their abs? Take a break. All right. Ah. So what you can always do is go back. We made it 30 minutes. You can go back. You can do that again. I'm going to actually download it to YouTube and bring it back onto my page. For those of you who waited to the end, I said I was going to do a giveaway today. I am giving away a free, drum roll please, a free Blitz coaching call to one person today who puts hashtag blitz in the comments below. What is a blitz coaching call? It is me calling you and only you, or um, Zoom calling, I do it on the phone or Zoom, and we sit and talk about what your wellness or life goals are. So if you're in a position where you feel stuck, where you feel blocked, where you feel dissatisfied, where you feel frustrated, or you wanna take your life from good to great, give me a call, drop me a hashtag blitz in the comments before I am gifting one session today. Hope you all have a happy, healthy weekend and I'll talk to you all soon.